I don't think so. Shiva was a alien. Uh, he was very much. Again, देखो फिर वही बात आ गई ना. Shiva is the one who is not there, but. नमस्कार मैं एवरी वन वेलकम बैक स्वागत करता हूँ एक बार फिर और उम्मीद करता हूँ सब कुशल मंगल होंगे बार बार ये बोल बोल के ना थक गया हूँ मैं अभी फिलहाल मैं आप लोगों को बोल दूँ जिन लोगों ने इस चैनल को अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है या गलती से जो लोग पहली बार आ गए हैं गलती से इस चैनल पे देन डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्रिप्शन बटन क्योंकि आज का वीडियो एक एक्सटेंडेड वीडियो लास्ट एपिसोड का बोल सकते हैं लेकिन मैं अग्री नहीं करूँगा उससे बिकॉज ये कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट वीडियो है बट रिलेटेबल है क्योंकि हमने लास्ट वीडियो शिवा के बारे में किया था तो ये आज का वीडियो भी शिव के बारे में ही है बट आज का जो वीडियो है ना वो हिस्ट्री चैनल पे एक उन्होंने एपिसोड बनाया था ठीक है ना और उसका नाम था एंशेंट एलियंस द माइटी शिवा ठीक है ना इसका ये सीज़न एलेवन का एपिसोड फिफ्टीन है तो ये हम देखेंगे मुझे नहीं पता इसमें क्या है सो आई यू आइज ऑलरेडी सो इफ रेडी लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो इंडिया 200 miles northeast of Mumbai stands a monolithic temple complex known as the Ellora Caves. Cave 16, known as Kailasha Temple, is a massive shrine to Lord Shiva. Shiva is a member of the Hindu trinity of major gods. One of his functions is destruction, the other one is creation. At three stories high, it stands twice as tall as the Parthenon in Athens, and archaeologists believe it was chiseled out of the hillside, starting at the top and ending at the bottom. Some historians estimate that construction of the temple required the removal of over 400,000 tons of rock. But even more incredible is that mainstream archaeologists propose. that this feat was accomplished in just 18 years if people worked every day for that 18 years for 12 hours straight with no breaks then they would have to have removed 5 tons of rock every hour this is 10000 pounds of rock every hour in reality such a feat is not even possible today with modern technology If it happened in 18 years, it's very hard to account for the volume of material that that was removed. As an engineer, it is my belief that Kailasanatha Temple would not have taken just 18 years. It would have taken more close to a century. It is very very hard to believe even now how this was accomplished. Another baffling uh, fact is that uh, if they removed 400,000 tons of rocks uh, they have to be thrown away in somewhere but we do not find any evidence of rocks being piled up nearby uh, it hasn't been used to build any other temples or any other structure where did all that rock go could humans living over 1000 years ago really have constructed kailasha temple in only 18 years and if so how is it that all the rock that was excavated has simply disappeared perhaps further clues can be found by examining a powerful device described in the ancient vedic texts interestingly there is a device called baumastra mentioned in the ancient vedic texts this high tech machine would be able to quickly drill into the rock and basically they price This could basically change the rock into air. Is it possible that the Baumastra machine described in the Vedic texts was really a technological device that existed on Earth thousands of years ago? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes, but suggest it was used not to build Kailasha Temple from the top down as mainstream scholars propose, but carved out the structure from the bottom up. One of the more mysterious aspects of the site of Alora are the tunnels that seem to go nowhere at the site. This is one of the tunnels leading underground at the Kailasa Temple. You can see that the local authorities have fenced this off, but if you look through this hole, 
you can see that this tunnel goes vertically down. Local authorities believe that tunnels like these lead to a vast underground city under Kailasa Temple. But why would vast rooms and tunnels exist deep underground beneath Kailasha Temple? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest this could be further evidence that Lord Shiva has a connection with the Great Flood. We have the great deluge that changed the face of the Earth and forced people underground. So you have to wonder, is this some kind of ancient city, many thousands of years old, that was once some kind of extraterrestrial base? And as the water receded, they create this temple from underground. Could it be that hidden beneath Kailasha Temple is an underground alien city? And if so, would this prove that the being Hindus call Shiva was really an extraterrestrial visitor who gave technology to an earlier race of humans and ultimately destroyed them? बातों से मैं सहमत हूँ टेक्नोलॉजी यस हाई टेक्नोलॉजी थी हो सकता है क्योंकि कहते हैं डिस्ट्रक्शन हर हजार दो हजार तीन हजार सालों पहले हुआ है या जो भी चीजें हैं तो जैसे इवन जो मोहन जोदाड़ो है या हड़प्पा कल्चर सिविलाइजेशन है तो जब वो भी पांच हजार साल पहले थी ठीक है ना तो अब ऐसा डिस्ट्रक्शन हुआ इतना बड़ा डिस्ट्रक्शन हुआ मास डिस्ट्रक्शन हुआ कि टेक्नोलॉजी सब उड़ गई तो कुछ भी हो सकता है इट कुड बी एनी थिंग बट आई डोंट थिंक सो शिवा वाज अ एलियन ही वाज वेरी मच अगेन देखो फिर वही बात आ गई ना शिवा इज द वन हु इज नॉट देयर बट इज अ क्रिएटर एंड डिस्ट्रॉयर इट्स लाइक वंस ही क्रिएटेड द न्यू वर्ल्ड और वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट एंड देन वेन ही सी थिंग्स आर नॉट गोइंग राइट वे और समथिंग इज रॉन्ग सो ही डिस्ट्रक्ट एवरी थिंग ही डिस्ट्रॉय एवरी थिंग मे बी मे बी नॉट बट इट्स ऑल अवर परसेप्शन यू नो फॉर मी एवरी इंडिविजुअल इज शिवा आई एम शिवा यू आर शिवा एवरी वन इज शिवा you know it just you have to realize it and to reach on a so shiva is a state it's same like para brahm reaching to that divine is a state how you reach it when you reach it then you realize it so that is what shiva is that is why we say shiva is someone who's not there the one who's not there wow अमेजिंग सो एनी वेज गोइंग टू मच इन टू डिटेल जितना डिटेल में जाएंगे ये उतना डेप्थ गहरा होता चला जाएगा ये बात कभी ख़त्म नहीं हो सकती सो इट्स कहते हैं ना ये सेल्फ एक्सपीरियंसिंग थिंग है लाइक यू कैन ओनली एक्सपीरियंस इट यू कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन यू कैन नॉट प्रूफ इट दीज थिंग्स जस्ट कैन बी एक्सपीरियंस दैट इज वाई वी हैव अ सर्टन सिस्टम टू following certain sort of uh, rituals or gods to experience it and every that is why in sanatan dharma or hindu dharma we have more than 30 million god and goddesses because every individual can ha- experience differently you know so they have created their god according to their experience understood maybe somebody didn't understand it but that is what it is yahi hai to english bolne wale khush ho gaye honge kyunki aaj ka video english wala tha to main balance karne ki koshish karta rehta hu hindi english hindi english anyways to yahi tha aaj ka video ummeed karta hu pasand aaya ho agar pasand aaya to aapko pata hai kya karna hai apni family friends sabke sath share karo aur sabse subscribe karo channel ko kyunki isme gyan hi gyan hai gyan hi gyan hai to chalo isi ke sath main leta hu aap logo se da so my friends you do whatever you want to do just take care of yourself take care of your family and take care of this planet namaskar